What's up everyone, happy new year and welcome back. So this is gonna be the first EWC vlog of 2022. Uh, we're just gonna go out today. We're at Taipei 101 and we're gonna check out two watch shops because last year uh, when I started talking about watches, uh, you know, we did a little undercover story about the hottest brands and basically we got super good feedback and I kind of wanted to expand on that. First vlog of this year, I think I'm actually going to go in a different direction. I'm not going to talk about PP, AP, RM, Rolex, FPJ. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the independents. I'm going to talk about two brands that I think will blow up. Well, one has pretty much blown the F up already, uh, and I called it on my vlog last year, VC. Vacheron Constantin, uh, especially the overseas, it is just, it literally just took off. I don't think anyone expected it to take off that fast. Just want to let everyone know, Constantin is under the Richemont group and they have brands like JLC, Panerai, Lange, Cartier, obviously all great brands. But you know, a lot of these watch connoisseurs and watch collectors, they're always bagging on watch companies and watch brands that are under a big you know, company or a big umbrella. And I don't see it that way. The watch market is still really crazy. You know, we have stuff like the Tiffany dial, which is what I'm wearing right now, okay? I don't even want to talk about this watch because it's just, it, it blows my mind, but I'm lucky that I got this a couple years ago and I'm thankful. But LVMH, Tiffany. Okay, so LVMH is another big conglomerate, a big company that has many, many watch brands under them. And Hublot. This is where I think Hublot is going to shine. Uh, Hublot has been killing it. Now, why do I say Vacheron Constantin and Hublot? One is super rich and super deep in history, while the other is a giant marketing machine. They just know what the fuck they're doing. They don't have to clash with each other and they don't necessarily compete with each other, but they're both super luxurious brands. And because the watch market is ridiculous and all the prices are actually insane, it's really difficult to get watches at the AD or at the boutiques. And because of this, there's the trickle down effect. I'm not saying that VC or Hublot is not as good as the other brands. It's just that the last few years, the other brands have been so popular and so much in demand that it created a frenzy. That's what everyone wanted. Everyone wanted those brands. But because it's so difficult to get now, and if you go to the secondary market, the prices are sky high, and you don't know if they're really gonna keep going up or not, a lot of people will be influenced by other brands that are maybe easier to get. I don't want to say for sure, but it's possible that it might be easier to get. But that's what we're gonna find out today. If VC and if Hublot is actually easier to get now, I'm not really sure. So that's why we're here at Taipei 101 and we're gonna find out. So let's get going. We're gonna check out Hublot first and uh, see what they got. I'm gonna do a little surprise visit, but today we're not gonna go undercover. Before we get to Hublot, we are passing by PP and uh, this is what they got on display. <laughs> And just a box and uh, more cufflinks. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, we're not going to go into PP. We're not going to do any undercover shit today. Uh, we're just going to go to Hublot and then uh, see what happens. So we just got to Hublot. I'm going to go in there and just check it out and see what's up. Okay, well, I mean, at least there's watches here. So, oh, hello. Oh, hi, 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 hi. 我今天可以帶幾個攝影師來拍嗎? Okay, 我只是想看一下手錶 At least this is a good sign there's, there's, there's watches to see My personal favorites The integrals are right here uh, They obviously have a lot of big bangs You know what, like I, I really feel like they are You know, at the forefront of marketing They are always doing something that's Very, very loud I know that it might not be for everyone, and I'm going to be honest. Like, I understand a lot of the watch connoisseurs, a lot of the watch collectors, they do, you know, bag on Hublot sometimes. But the other side is that they're doing things right. That, that's just how I always feel. Like, they're doing things the right way. And to promote a brand, you know, you, you got to spend. You got to spend money on promoting your brand. And I'm a firm believer in marketing. Diamonds and sapphires. It's not just a girl's best friend anymore. It's all of our best friends. 
I mean, these kind of watches now are, you know, it seems like that's what people are going after. You know, they, they want the bling. Give me the bling. Show me the money. Show me the money. Ooh, look at that. Now that is pretty crazy. Oh man, look at, look at all that. Look at these square cut bezels. This is a factory set. This bad boy here, Spirit of Big Bang. Uh, this is one thing that I want to talk about. Um, square cut factory set diamonds on the bezel. This has become a huge trend, huge. I mean, just a couple years ago when the Rolex Rainbow came out, um, there were some people like, oh, like what is that? But then some people were like, dude, that's that's a collector's piece, you know? Not, but it's not for everyone. But you know, like a, a lot of different brands really went after this, and uh, a lot of big collectors are really going after the, the factory set square cut bezels. It's just so bling. I love it. I don't know what it is, but I think maybe because I'm getting older, but I, I really like this. And, yeah. I feel like a gangster. Okay. 就是应该就是更难拿到因为全世界有一百二十几家的店所以有这么二十几家要拿不到就 OK 他的收藏他的收藏他买过什么表没错然后如果你们有特殊版的表我们就会优先留给他没错我们是有听到一些客人的声音他们就是不太喜欢配表配表这个字对这个词那他们觉得他们花他们的这个消费应该是买到他们真
。然后我 ，We'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. V I P， 等一下哦，等一下哦，哇，有方块钻，你们看有方块钻。Oh my God，V C 开始做了方块的原装 bezel。This is what I was talking about. See, this is what I'm talking about. Even a traditional brand like VC is starting to do this. This is something that we should talk about because, at the end of last year, on my IG, I started to post a lot of these kind of watches because of I think that, you know, this is maybe like one of the greater investment opportunities. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm a little bit、uh, saddened that I could not show you guys、uh, VC overseas right now, but. I guess I'm gonna have to put an order in or something. I would love to get my hands on an overseas, but obviously there are other watches in the VC lineup that are actually beautiful, and you know what? They're worth looking at. And I actually do think, just like I said before, that VC will be one of the big players for 2022. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. The next EWC, I think I'm actually gonna take my mom Irina, and we're gonna go out and、uh, talk watches, show you guys some cool stuff. So、I'll see you guys on the next one. Keep watching. 2022 is a big year. Happy New Year, everyone. Peace.